Bar Pod, interior tour, take, I forget. Jensen, three channel, AM, FM, DVD, Bluetooth, app ready, USB, auxiliary import. Not a high end unit by any stretch of the imagination, but it does work. Two speakers inside, two more for the garage. LED, LED lighting throughout, little dot button thing. Air conditioner. Works very well in the summertime. Not much room to cool, but it works well. Moving down, the light switch for outside light. Slide in and out. Let's do that right now. Press the right button the right way. With the slide all the way in, I can still access the bathroom, albeit just barely. The bed, yeah, I could use it, but generally, if I park anywhere for the night, I'm kicking the slide out for all of the time it takes. It's chattering because the trailer is not sitting level. It's sitting up on its jack stands with no support in the back. That's the slide. Anyway, moving on. We have the kitchenette, as I break my fan. Kitchenette folds down to a bed. Double, mini queen, whatever. Uh, smoke detector, more lights, two more lights there. Um, over here we have the, where does the escape? I guess they expect to use this bed more than the other one. And then underneath, I've got this panel pulled off so you can see the hot water tank and the furnace and the water pump itself. Now the hot water tank, you can turn the propane on in, from inside or you can go outside, flip a switch and turn it to 110. The furnace, propane furnace, it only blows out right where my toe is. But it blows out enough that even at 20 below, it'll warm this trailer up in a heck of a hurry. So. Power plug down there, some stuff I'll talk about next video. Now, over here we have a convection microwave oven. So it has a heating element with a big fan in it. Look it up, lots of videos on YouTube. First time I ever used it, surprised how well it works. Below it, the Dometic three-way fridge. Now this is a true three-way fridge. 110 or shore power, gas, propane, or 12 volt, it'll actually run directly off the battery by itself. That's great for when you're traveling, especially long distance. It'll keep the fridge cold. When you stop, you definitely wanna switch over to either gas or electric. A little bit of storage. Storage and outlet on this side. Another light. A window. Oops. Windows are actually very well sealed, well built. Um, two burner cooktop, glass cover, works well, but really disappointing there's only two of them, that's just what they gave me, well, what it is, that's what I put in all of them, single bay sink, high, high tap, not bad, two shelves, completely full of mess, because I just sort of threw everything in there, as I pulled out for the winter, storage down there, for all, and sink access, Normally non-removable panel to access your plumbing if you need to. Moving on here is the bunks. Lower bunk, as you can see, is my primary. Just threw some extra stuff on there. Window and LED light on over there. And uh, no light on this side. Same with the upper quote-unquote bunk. Yeah. They rated this at 200 or 250 pounds. Funny joke there, guys. Put some stuff on there, yeah, it, it, I'm going to be rebuilding that. You can see the screw holes if you're paying attention there. Uh, I'll cover that in another video. Bathroom. It's what they consider a wet shower or wet bath. So there's your little sink, little tiny hand wash sink. Turn the light on. Fan, it does have the shroud. I showed up in the exterior roof video. Um... And that is a 12 volt van, so it'll run on battery. Uh, standing shower, toilet, 
Uh, yeah. I can, I'm, I stand six foot, and yes, I can just, just barely have a shower in this thing. I usually end up sitting on the toilet to have a shower. Same with the bed. I stand six foot. I just barely fit. It is very cozy, but it works. Uh, moving on. Propane detector down there. GFI light down there. And the control for the air conditioner and for the heater. This thing is fussy. It, you gotta play with it to get it to do what you want. It's whoever came up with the software design that thing didn't know what they were doing. Very unhappy with that one. One of these days I'll rip it out and put a decent or one or two separate controllers in there. Other than that, that should pretty much do the walk around for the inside. It's actually quite cozy, stays quite warm or quite cool depending on what you need it to do. When I bought it and had it down in Edmonton and Calgary and coming up through Banff, I could tr crank the AC up, it'd be 110 in the shade where there was no shade. And the AC had it cool enough to be reasonable within an hour. So, I mean, it's very nice that way. The air conditioner pumps out in the pro and the furnace. It actually pumps out quite, quite well as well. Even zero Fahrenheit, this thing will heat it up like bugger all. Even though it's just pumping out there. So Anyway, next video, I will cover upgrades, improvements, modifications, etc. Quite a few things I've changed. A few more things I'm going to change. But yeah, that's the inside.